Welcome to ICB Explained, how to use the student portal. All student registrations and exam entries are done on the student portal via the ICB website. And all students have access to the ICB student portal. If you're a college student, then your college will ensure you're registered for exams. But you can still use the portal to update your personal details and a few other functions. As a distance student, you can use the student portal to do the following. Register with the ICB as a student, enter for exams, print exam confirmations, update your personal details, pay your ICB fees using a credit card, snap scan or other methods, and keep up to date with your progress towards your qualification. Once you've registered, see our first ICB explained video, you can enter for your first exam, see our second video. However, there are many other things the student portal is useful for. Let's navigate to the student portal to take a look at what else you can do. This section at the top right hand corner displays your name, surname and ICB student number. As a first time user, it will not display your college details until you've registered for a course. In the middle of the screen, this displays details about the course you've registered for. Also, upon entering for an exam, it will also list which exams you entered for and at which venue you'll be writing. Note that each program stream comprises of multiple qualifications. The menu bar on the left hand side allows you to navigate to various aspects of your involvement with ICB from registering for a new course to updating your details. Under the View My Report section, Invoice History displays all registration and exam entry information with ICB. Payment History displays all monies paid to the ICB. Assessment Results displays a record of your assessments and their outcomes, which you are able to download and use. And My Certificate will display your certificates. Under Order Products, you can order reprints of certificates as well as to pay your annual registration fee. In order to do this, just click on Order Products and go through the checkout process as usual. Next, we'll look at the Order Products section. The ICB online store allows you to order reprints of certificates. Once you've added the item to the basket, you simply check out the same way as you would for an exam entry. Lastly, you can click on update my details to update any of your personal information that might have changed. Please note you cannot update your name, surname or ID number. For this, you'll need to contact the ICB directly. Click on the edit my details section and then you'll be able to edit any information that might have changed. Once you're satisfied with your changes, click on Update My Details. For other videos, check out our YouTube channel and be sure to subscribe and tick the bell icon for notifications of new videos. Thanks for watching.